Hi guys, right, welcome back to our channel. Today we're gonna to do something a little bit different. Um, myself and my partner, we like our holidays. As you can see, the sun is shining. I have no hair, so I burn easily. And uh, like everybody else, the sun can become a bit too much. And this is where sun hats come in. Now, what happens when your hat gets floppy? Eh? Well, there are one or two tricks out there and i'm going to try and share one of them with you now so uh, what i'm going to do i'm going to swing the camera around and let you see what i'm doing and and how i'm doing it okay so this is for straw hats or panama hats the reed hats and uh, let's see how this works out shall we i'm going to turn you around just about now okay so here we have that i'm prepping up now my partner's sun hat and as you can see it's going it's a little bit squidgy it's only a cheap hat it's not an expensive hat so what i'm doing at the moment i am just taping the, the loose ends out of the way because what i'm about to do we don't want to get this on here um just so you know here's one here's my panama that i've already started and as you can see that started to come out nicely it's on its uh, second treatment, so that is drying out nicely. Okay, so what you need, you need a hat and a base to work on. So I've used kitchen foil because uh, I don't want anything to stick with this. And what we are actually using is clear PVA glue, water-based PVA glue. Now the beauty of water-based is if it, uh, if it doesn't work out, you can uh, you can dip your hat in uh, in water and give it a scrub round and it'll all come out again. So that's available from any uh, craft shop. This came from the works yesterday. And then you mix it with water, about 50, about 50, 50. Okay, so there you are. That's already mixed, pre-mixed. And as you can see, I had put it in a bottle and labelled it from yesterday because we're using it a second time now. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put you down on the table and I'm going to show you how we do this. Okay, so here we go. Here we have our hat and as you can see, it's quite floppy. We've sellotaped our bits and bobs out of the way to try and protect them a little bit. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to rest our hat on the bench, and get our PVA glue and a decent brush. And we're just gonna all the way around, all the way. Around. Okay, so it's gonna look a bit strange at first. Bear in mind, if you have a paper hat, be very careful on how you treat it because we don't want your your beloved, most favourite paper hat falling apart on you. So all you're actually doing is you are working the PVA and the water into the hat. Being careful not to get the hat band, the sweat band. And then we'll give it a real good soaking all the way around. Is this going to work? I'm not really sure. Um, my Panama seems to be coming out okay. Now, it's not the world's ex most expensive Panama because you can pay up to £60,000 for a genuine Panama. So, uh, you know, when I tell you I got that hat cheap, then I'm not telling lies. It's uh, The true value of it is around about £40. It was on a special deal, and I got it for just under twenty pounds. Okay, so we're working that in there, like so. And we get it all the way around, and then I'm going to turn it over. And as you can see by the colouring, we are getting there already. It's already soaking through, and I'm going to do the top because this hat is suffering from the droops to be honest it's pretty much brand new well it is brand new 
It came through the post, screwed up in a bag, and it's done it no good at all. So be careful to, uh, to protect the parts that you do not want covered. As you can see, my Panama is sitting on a uh, on a black cushion at the moment because I want it to absorb the heat from the sun. Here we go. Look, you need to be up here. I don't want you getting wet. Here we go. You stay there. And. Uh, Hopefully it's going to dry nicely. Now the problem is I don't know what the true shape, the true weave of this hat is supposed to be. Fiona knows what she wants. So I'm just attempting to get that border. So let's wipe the the excess surface glue off, like so, and then what we can do is try to take some sort of a shape already. Let's tuck that under there, move out of the way. Okay, now that was the easy bit. So now, hanging up in my garage, I have glass jars full of nuts, bolts and things. And we will use these, hopefully. To hold down. There we go. As you can see, it doesn't like that, so we're going to come in close as we can to try and get the shape in there. We'll even use our glue pot. There you go, one glue pot. And I think for our first set, hopefully that will do. So we'll let that pretty much start to settle out and go stiff. And we'll uh, we'll see how it's looking, and then we'll uh, we'll add a second layer of PVA. All right, guys. See you later. Hi, guys. Right to complete our little hat video. Here we are once again at the Albasara Hotel in Fuerteventura. Let's have a nose behind. This is a beautiful place. So this is uh, pretty much one week from the start of the hat brim repair all right so um all in all my panama hat it had three applications of the pva glue as you can see the brim is quite firm it has it spent all day yesterday traveling from birmingham to fuerteventura it's traveled in two taxis and he's sat in an airplane locker, he's hung about around the airport and, and had a drink, you know, as you do. And uh, and here we are the following morning in Fuerteventura, sun is shining and it's absolutely beautiful. And as you can see, the hat is doing all right. Fiona, my partner, as you uh, seen by the, this video, I was trying to sort her hat out she didn't actually pack it she didn't bring it so I can't give you a report on that hat what I can say is the PVA glue did slightly change the color the sunglasses of the brim so 
uh, there are certain colours, be it straw colour, brown, whatever, the PVA will actually change the colour of the hat. So you may have to just coat the whole hat. Um, obviously, if you've got an expensive hat, have it professionally um, restored, cleaned, whatever. Um, unless you feel exceedingly confident and away you go. I hope this has helped you. This amazing hotel, if you uh, if you check out my channel, this is the Albasada Hotel in Fuerteventura. There's a walk around review that I have done on this hotel. And we are back, we were here in May, we are back now, it's September, first week in September. And I will be doing another video, um, just to top up and try and find what there is to do locally. So uh, anyway, that's another video. Thank you for watching. And uh, please, if you like it, put the like, hit the like button, subscribe, and, uh, and you'll be notified of everything that comes up. Push that bell. Okay, catch you later. Thank you for watching. Be safe. Keep out the sun. And we'll see you soon. Bye for now.